Miss Olszewski, if that's actually your name, which it sounds like what I remember, please let me tell you I support you, but I also believe that you're being subjected to something that is not unique. There is a character, I found a video after looking in another manner. It claims to be uh, a segment and it's comparable to what I first found. But I'm going to let you know I am highly alert for certain trigger words. One of which is speaking through proxies. I have absolutely no recollection that last year when I was viewing the video representation including your interviews and other matters related to what you were trying to expose in New York City, that there was any characterization as if you were speaking through proxies. That may well be the same outlet, and they may well have backdated it ex post facto to make it appear as if you would have agreed to having it represented that you would have been speaking through proxies. But what that also does is tell other people that have their own analysis and are applying their own capabilities and their own ethos. Well, you're just somebody else's proxy. And at some point in time, somebody else is going to say, well, you know, this was mine. And I was the one that had the command authority. And if they did what I told them, I'm not going to chastise them for disobeying my order, including a secretly administered order under a command authority that I did not assert or verify through a chain of command, and potentially under some flag that I put on them temporarily, which I get to justify because of my misrepresentation and misunderstanding of what I'm authorized to do. So don't actually acknowledge them or what they did themselves. Ultimately, it was under somebody else's orders. You know what that leaves open? Allegations of all kinds of other abuses. See, this happened to me. When I went and told somebody to their actual literal on-site in their office, somebody is trying to say you're involved with crimes. And before I take the next steps that would be necessary to be taken, I'm asking you, what are you going to do about the implications of these charges? And the next thing you know, well, they're not responding to me directly, but they put me on their mailing list to talk about how they're discussing proxy maneuvers. It wasn't a proxy maneuver. I don't believe you would have agreed at the time to let them characterize that you were speaking through proxies. I think they did that ex post facto. And now they're trying to make it look like what? Did you go black? I don't think that's correct. I'm not going to watch the rest of that video. I am going to post it with the original videos along with this one. I hope that you found support, but I also hope that you understand. I was a witness. There was no characterization at the time, and you did not say you were working with or through or in connection with any proxies, including anybody ex post facto that agreed to a buy-off because they're traumatized at what they saw. If you agreed ex post facto to co-conspire with them as part of a long-term scheme where they could pretend that they were undercover like you, you're going to have to be held accountable for that. You said what you said at the time. It was very important. I hope you get support that you need in order to go on the record if you need to again and verify that information. But there was no proxy operations going on so far as I understand and the representation of what you did. That needs to be acknowledged. 